a rather annoying headache for commuters in New York City. Parking meters have not been accepting credit cards. A problem has been going on since last night. They are accepting cash, but it's put many drivers in a rather frustrating spot. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg has reaction. It's hard enough to find a spot on the streets of New York City. Then you've got to pay. Card not allowed. And paying is a little trickier right now, as Michael Summy just found out. A lot of people have been walking by telling me that it's a, some type of technical glitch. Card is not working. You just have to put the quarters, but people doesn't have the quarters. That's right. The meters still take coins, and you can use the app. But insert your credit card here, and you get this message. Apparently, the software company for these meters had established an end date of January 1, 2020. And that end date was never updated by the company. So when the ball dropped on New Year's, the company dropped the ball. This is worse than, the, than January 1st of 2000. We thought everything was going to crash January 1st of 2000. 20 years later, here we are, and the meter's not working. I tried to use the app, and it didn't work. I don't think I have $10.75 worth of quarters. The Department of Transportation is manually fixing some meters, like this one in Long Island City. But for those that still don't accept credit cards, you're still responsible for paying to park. Yes, you will get a ticket, for sure. It seems that New York City isn't the only municipality dealing with this glitch. Cities in Australia were the first to go offline when the calendar turned to Jan 1, and then other cities around the world followed suit. I, mean, I guess I got to go to a store and, and ask them to give me a bunch of quarters, and I, I'm, good luck to me on that one. No word on when all the meters will accept credit cards, so bring along plenty of these.